Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Catherine Aljong and I'm a part-time reseller in applications such as Poshmark, Mercari, and Vinted. And I know you're here probably because you're interested in reselling, knowing more about Poshmark. And specifically in this video, I want to talk a little bit about how to look for stock photos. Um, I know one of you asked me last time, hey, can you tell me some kind of uh, tips or tricks in how I got my stock photos? And guys, I know stock photos is not the best thing and it has to be accompanied by a picture from you. But during time crunch, if you want to upload or post your item as soon as possible, I think stock photos is the best bet. I am really sorry for this weird light. I'm actually finding it really hard these days to find time to shoot a video. And I just got back from work right now. The lighting is not the best. It's kind of late already. So hence the lighting right here. Yeah. Anyways, so in this video, I want to split four um, scenarios in how you can look for stock photos. So let's get let's let's get started. The first one, some of you know that I shop a lot from stores like Urban Outfitters Outlet, and it's really easy, guys. Whenever you shop at Urban Outfitters Outlet, you actually get the name of the product. So when I shop at Urban Outfitters Outlet, I always ask them for an electronic receipt sent to my email. Or sometimes I uh, ask for the paper version and what happened after that is I'll just look up the name of the item from um, the receipt so here okay um, this says EC which I know is Ecote or something like that Bonita high neck ENG print and when I have that information I simply google this name and put it as a search criteria and normally I get the results so I'm gonna show you right here so I then go to images tab and it should show me pictures and I look for something that's either very similar or super similar or kind of like that like the same style so for example I'm gonna go to the top and normally under related list I can see this dress that is actually my dress and I just click right click save it to downloads the second scenario is if you have an item like Madewell and J Crew, which actually put their style number under the product so I just thrifted this item yesterday a Madewell tie skirt I don't know all in olive color and if you see it the tag inside the skirt like right here pull it up there is a style number right there and it says style C6305 and what I do is I'll just enter made well style C6305 and almost all the time then the uh, actually the page where Midwell has the product come out or the product page and you can always snag the picture I normally do screenshot of the picture because Madewell and jcrew has a really weird format of the jp2 which actually doesn't work with poshmark so i just screenshot it and then post it on my poshmark now the third scenario is it's a little bit more difficult but it's not difficult at all so for example i'm just gonna show you a few items this first one is Anth Anthropology Maeve and normally with Anthropology, they don't really put like their style number on the tag. So what I'll do is find the best way to identify this product. First of all, you need to know the brand which is Maeve and you want to say this is purple dress. So I'll Google Maeve purple dress. If you cannot find it, find another criteria like I think the shoulder here is quilted so I'll look for Maeve quilted or pleated purple dress, a mini dress, something like that, and it would come up. If I cannot find it there, I'll go to tips number four, but that's for later discussion. Another example is this top, another anthropology item from Vanessa, Virginia. And normally, again, like earlier, I'll just put the brand Vanessa, Virginia, floral, chiffon, or the material top. And you can also add, you know, pleated back or, you know, square neck. Just look for all like the kind of criteria until you find it on Google. Now, the third example 
is this another anthropology item and this one is the letter and what strike me the most about this is the type of like hair uh, like sleeve i guess when i and uh, look for this picture i'll google the letter kimono or like bat wing sleeve knit top the material is knit which is different from earlier ones and if i i think i found a black one and i'll just refine it to green to find a green color one so that it matches the one i have now Catherine, what happens if i cannot find it on google this is my last resort i will go to poshmark and actually do the same search that i did in google and sometimes i actually find the name of the item so for example when i cannot find this purple dress on google i'll put on poshmark search mave purple quilted dress or mave purple dress and some people may have already posted this dress and i'll find the name of the pro product so in this case, I found on Poshmark that this dress is called Galena. So what I'll do, you know, sometimes they have it on Poshmark and it's name, but they use their own picture or their stock picture is really blurry. And because I think stock photos is has to be really interesting and catch the eyes, I want to make sure that my stock photos is in the highest quality. So I'll Google Maeve galena purple dress and i found a stock photo picture with with a good or better quality because you know it's probably more official picture a lot of the time i use picture or stock photos from a website called list and it will actually tell you um, or bring you or direct you to the real product page from anthropology for example or nordstrom and tell you what is the retail price the lowest retail price they've seen Okay, I think that is it. The last um, exception is probably Lululemon. For Lululemon, I know that Lulu Fanatics is the website that kind of like host or keep a, all like the list of Lululemon items out there. And I've actually used some of their uh, stock photos picture. And I, apparently though, I heard that they're not really happy about it. So. I don't do that anymore but if you want to find picture specifically for lululemon i would definitely encourage you to go to lulu fanatics and actually look for the item they uh, i think that you can filter and define a search you know from their in within their website so that will be a good place if you have lululemon items so that is it guys thank you so much for watching i am sorry that last week i'm just skipping out on you and i am really sorry that i've been really lazy about posting i'm not being lazy to justify myself i was taking an exam for work last week and i was pretty stressed out because i was preparing for festivals the thing about summer is i'm working and i'm also working on poshmark and i also have my side business mission store which typically during the summer we have a ton of festivals and guys i haven't had a break since last week so last weekend i was working from morning to night every day basically stand up not sitting down so i'm just really really tired and also because i'm going back to indonesia in a few weeks there's a lot of stuff from work and from like the store that i just need to finish before i go so it's just really busy i hope you understand but guys i'm really interested in giving you more information about poshmark i'm actually also interested in learning from you what you think about poshmark your experience you know it's kind of more like a conversation than me just blabbering and giving you lectures which is definitely not fun but if you have any questions any topic that i want to uh, you want me to start talking about feel free to drop on the comment below i'm actually preparing another video which is uh, just like a vlog of my day today it's just not that interesting honestly but it was, it was requested so i gotta do it um yeah guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video and hope that your poshmark stores is keep going strong Bye bye